Hi, this is Robin Fritz, the Practical Intuitive, and this is this week's Intuitive Moment. It's on how shocking and right intuition can be. So sometimes your intuition just slams into you. You know, there's no warning, just a shocking hit that will make you stop and think, oh my gosh, now what am I going to do? Or what was that? What happened? So here's the thing. This happened to me several years ago. I was out running errands, tapping into the busy work day that I have, and I jumped in my car, threw things onto my passenger car seat, and all of a sudden I saw the red engine light go on on my car dashboard. I heard the words, engine light, engine overheating, and I felt like I'd been gut punched scared, startled, worried. And then I knew, I just knew something was wrong with my car. So there you have the four intuitive clairs shockingly obvious to you. Seeing, I saw the red engine light on my car dashboard. I heard the words engine light, engine overheating. I felt, okay, feelings, I felt scared and worried naturally about my car and, you know, how shocking that was. But I knew that there was something wrong, something wrong with my car. And so I did what I encourage my clients and my students in my workshops to do. I just stopped and said, okay, take a moment here. How does this make you feel? And I felt worried about my car. So I thought, okay, um, I'm on my way in a week or so to Eastern Washington. I, I live in Seattle, so I'm heading to Eastern Washington to ironically give a talk on intuition. <laughs> and it was summer, it was August, it was really hot, and I was driving over the Cascade Range, so that's really hot. So it was going to be a, a long, hot drive, and I wanted to get my car checked out. And the previous year, the dealer had said, Robin, you're probably going to need brakes next summer. So I called and I made an appointment to have them check my brakes. And when I showed up, they said, let us give you um, a loaner car because we're pretty sure you're going to need brakes today. And I said, okay, fine, but I'd like you to do something else. I'd like you to just go ahead and do an oil change, but do the more complicated one where you do a whole engine check. And people, this is where I say pick your fights, right? Because I'm not going to go into a car dealership and say, guess what just happened to me? I heard the engine light, or I heard the words engine light, engine overheating. I saw the dashboard light light up. Because in all truth, when all that happened, I hadn't even put my key in the ignition. I hadn't even turned the car on. So there was no way... I would have ever seen the red engine light go on. And I have an older car, so, you know, it's not going to be one of those cars where some automatic computer thing pops in and says, hey, guess what? You need to do this. No, you know, so I'm not going to say that to them. I'm not going to have them think, well, you know, she's having a moment. We don't need to take her seriously. Instead, I said, just go ahead and do this. I was pretty confident that if there was anything wrong with my car, they'd figure it out. So they took my car, I went home, and I waited. And that afternoon, the phone rang, and the service tech said, yes, Robin, you needed brakes. But guess what? You also need a water pump. Okay, that's a really expensive fix. And I was only really kind of vaguely aware of what water pumps are. You know, that's why you have car mechanics. I put gas in, and I drive my car and pay insurance, and that's about what I know about cars. So I was like, okay, fine. And the next day when I went in to pick up my car, I asked to talk to a service tech. And a woman came over and she said, okay, how can I help you? And I said, well, I just got a brand new water pump and I really don't understand about water pumps. So can you explain to me what the issue was and how I can take care of my car? So she, she said, sure, come on over. And she raised the hood of my car and she pointed to these little pink dots like foam on um, the hood of my car and she said that's engine coolant she said your water pump was starting to fail and as it fails it'll shoot out these little 
phone. So good thing that we did the oil change in the checkup for your car. And I'm thinking, yeah, that is a good thing. And I said, well, how would I know that I was having problems with my water pump? I mean, I didn't see anything leaking in the garage like you would expect for like a problem with oil. And she shook her head and she said, engine light, engine overheating. <laughs> and I just stared at her because those were the exact words that I had heard the week, not the week, but several days before when I had seen the engine light go on without the car being on and heard the words engine light, engine overheating. And I looked at her and I just cracked up. I just burst out laughing and she kind of looked at me like, what's her problem? And then she said, well, I'm glad you're taking it with good humor as water pumps aren't cheap. She goes, but I'll tell you, she goes, you would never have made it to Eastern Washington. Your engine would have blown and you would have lost your car. So um, there it is, you know, that's an example of your intuition at work. And um, so here's the thing. If you're, intuition suddenly lights up like that, take it seriously. Because we are all intuitive. We are all intuitive and healers. And that's part of my work to help you understand that intuition is practical. It's there to serve you. And that sometimes it can be as shocking as what happened to me that day in the car before it even turned my car on. So pay attention to your intuition. Sometimes you're getting stuff that's meant for other people. Um, but uh, very often it's your thing that is trying to get your attention and your intuition is always picking up on things. So follow through on what you're experiencing, no matter how weird it may seem, because your intuition is always there. You're always learning to fine tune it. And if you think it isn't real, you're going to miss something important. So think again, pay attention. Don't worry about feeling weird. It's better to be weird than dead right? And it's better to feel weird than to lose your car. So again, my name is Robin Fritz. This is this week's intuitive moment. If you enjoyed it, I appreciate it. I'd love a like on my business page, uh, the Practical Intuitive Robin M. Fritz. That's a welcome friend request. You can find my intuitive and spiritual services at my website, robinfritz.com, R-O-B-Y-N-F-R-I-T-Z.com. I'm an intuitive and spiritual consultant and certified past life regression specialist. So I offer personal and business intuition, animal communication, mediumship, space clearing, and past life and between life regression, soul progression clearing, soul awakening and spiritual journeys, and energy healing. So there's a full range of services to support your intuitive and healing work in the world. And also, if you'd like to join me on some of my webinars, please check out the Learn It Life platform at experts at ometimes.com slash Robin Fritz. But you can also find me at the Learn It Life platform at thewellnessuniverse.com. So thank you for joining me today and take care.